Hey guys, I'm Hannah. If you didn't know that, you probably didn't, and now you do. A uh, quick disclaimer before I continue on with this video. I am actually recording on my MacBook because finding my actual video camera would require a lot of effort right now that I do not have. I'm so tired and drained because I just got back from my freshman new student orientation for college. It's super exciting and that's what this video is going to be about. I'm just going to tell you how my experience was, what I did, all that good stuff. So if this isn't your cup of tea, then that's okay. Goodbye. Click the X. But if it is your cup of tea, then thank you for staying and watching. So I'll just jump into it. Uh, basically, if you don't know what new student orientation is, it's something that universities, um, they have it for freshmen, so freshmen can come in and kind of like see the campus, get a spiel on how everything's going to work. It's usually where you get your like ID and you register for classes and you do a bunch of activities and you stay the night and all this kind of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get into my personal experience. So my orientation was June 8th and 9th and this is how my day went. I woke up early Monday morning and I packed the night before so I got my stuff and Got in the car, picked up my friend, and we went to orientation. Uh, my parents took a separate car. Um, parents usually are required to go, and if not, I still recommend that they go because orientation usually talks a lot about like student loans and financing and all this kind of adult stuff. And yes, we are adults, but we're not super knowledgeable about that stuff yet. We can solve algebraic equation. We can't even balance a checkbook yet. So thanks, high school, for preparing us for real life. I feel like I'm talking kind of fast, I'm sorry. Got there to the campus at about like 8.30, 8.45, and we parked our cars, and then we got all of our stuff, like our sleeping bags and our blankets and all that, and we took it to the residence hall to check in. He checked in and went off and did his thing, and now we're just gonna talk about me. How it worked is that when you got there, you would check in, you would sign some stuff, get your key, and then they would assign you like a random roommate for the night. And if you didn't want a random roommate and you wanted a specific roommate, you would have to actually check in with that person. And my actual roommate for the entire year was coming and we were going to meet up for the first time and we were really excited. And we decided we were like, oh, well, we're going to be roommates for like nine months, might as well room at orientation. So I waited for her. She was a little late. That's okay. But she came and we hugged and we hit it off and her, uh, her mom's awesome and it was just great. It was a great experience. I got a great roommate. And so uh, we went off. Signed in, got our keys, and then uh, they gave us these bags. I'm covering my college, but yeah, it's just like the little bags, and then they had like goodies on the inside, um, like this book. I'm just gonna show you really quickly. And this book has like uh, stuff about the history and traditions. We got a map because <laughs> necessary. And then we got a two day session student schedule, which just told us where we needed to be and when. There's one for the parents and one for the students. We got some other papers and stuff. We got a name tag that we have that we had to wear at all times. But um it has a group number on it and that'll come in later. We went to the like main pla <clears throat> place for like we had our our welcome session where they just talked a lot basically for an hour and a half. <clears throat> before they released us to go do whatever we needed to do, like veterans affairs or uh, question and answers with like the residential life people. While going around, they had this thing called a trade-in, so where you could bring like an old high school shirt, trade it in for a college shirt, so I did that. And then they also were handing out the um, books we're going to need for our university seminar class that all freshmen are required to take, so we got that for free, we didn't have to pay for it, so that was nice. Um, oh yeah, they also gave me a pin. I went to the bookstore and we looked around. I got a, I got this shirt actually, my mascot. Oh, also, uh, when we got there, I think, yeah, it was before we actually did the welcome session. We took our pictures for our ID, um, our college IDs, and we were allowed to pick them up the next day, so we didn't get them the same day. And um, me, I actually don't completely hate the pictures, so that's fun. Anyway, so we did like the welcome session, we talked a bunch, we went around, walked around campus, we did veterans affairs and figured out my stuff for my Hazelwood tuition. We had lunch, like we had lunch on our own. Then we had a, another session at like 1.30 I think, over like housing and residential stuff. And I was group 28, there weren't actually 28 groups, it was weird, it was like 15, 19, 21, 28. It was random. And so I went to group 28, everyone split up, and they tried to get us to play stupid games and do like icebreakers, and we just uh, went to a room, they did a presentation, answered some questions, it was just like orientation leaders, so it was like 
upperclassmen um, leading us around and getting us involved and stuff. We went and took a tour of the huge recreation center and then after that we went and we ate at the dining hall. But then after the dining hall we went back to the ballroom. The o OLs, the orientation leaders, did like a skit for us and there was like dancing and music and people talking and laughing and it was, it was an okay time. We all went back to the residence halls and just hung out. There was a ghost tour because the campus that I'm on has some pretty crazy ghost stories and haunting stories and all that kind of stuff. On that, they called it a moonlight tour and it was really pretty. And, um, and then I came back, took a bath, uh, not a bath, took a shower in the community showers and uh, went to sleep and hung out with my roommate a little bit. And she's awesome and I love her and Avery, if you're watching this, you're the bomb diggity. 6 a.m. the next day, all the OLs came out with like drums and rattles and like pans and were like banging them and waking us up and it was really annoying and then we woke up and we had to gather all of our stuff together and get out of there by 7.30, put up our stuff in our cars and check out and then we went and had breakfast and then we went to a uh, session that was going to tell us like what was going to happen the rest of the day. But I missed that. I was too busy eating because it took me forever to check out because there was a million people. I was like 45 minutes late, so I went to the ballroom and everyone had already broken off into their group, so I had to hunt my group down. So we found them and then we went to a session over like finance stuff and saving and budgeting and then we went to a session about this thing called Pace. And we did other stuff. Um, we played games, we hung out in the li outside the library and we went to lunch on our own, we came back, we took pictures, we just sat around waiting for them to call us so we could start registering for our classes, which was like the only super fun part and exciting part besides meeting my roommate. And so how that worked is like we went in, they were ready for us, we filled out some like forms and stuff and before we met with our academic advisor and she was gonna answer some questions and kind of guide us and tell us what like she would recommend us take for our courses and she helped out a lot. She was really rude though, probably gonna switch her or switch to someone else, but um, she helped, even though she was rude. And then we went back after the thing, we waited in a room, and then they called us in to actually register for our classes. And it was so stressful, and everyone was like, um, freaking out about the classes and the professors and stuff, and I really recommend doing your research about the professors at your uh, university. And that's what I did, and I went in and I was actually pretty prepared, and I got a pretty decent schedule. I'm gonna wait to tell you about my schedule till I do my, like, first day, first week of college uh, video vlog thing. Stay tuned! Because if I were to say it now, I'd probably drag on this video, and I don't want to do that. Um, so I'm taking 16 hours this semester, call me crazy. I'm really excited, and after that, we just, uh... We were free to go, but I went with my roommate and her mom, and we just, like, walked around and looked at, like, where our classes would be, what buildings, and we went to, like, the actual classes and stuff, and it was a fun time and um, some bonding time with her and her mom, and I love her. Um, so we kind of scoped out the classes, and I really recommend doing that, and if you don't do that, like, at your orientation, um, then, I mean, just some time before you actually start your classes, I would recommend finding your classes, knowing where you're going to go. It was a really fun time. Oh, well... Everything that wasn't, like, talking, like, the lectures and presentations and all that. Some of them were interesting and interactive, but then others it was just like... Oh, yeah. And others it was like, okay, I can deal with it. But for the most part, don't get too excited about the actual orientation. It's pretty boring. The only fun thing is, like, registering for classes and, you know, getting to know other people. Thank you for watching this video. If you're going to college or you're going to your orientation um, soon, good luck. You know, take a pencil, take something to write on, write with, or at least have your phone charged so you can, like, take notes in your phone. I, I really would recommend listening. I know it can be hard sometimes, but try to listen, try to take notes whenever they're talking to you because what they're saying is important and is something that we're not familiar with, so we really do need to like tune in for a little bit. I'm really excited for college. And so what you can expect from me these next coming upcoming months are um, a dorm room haul video, probably a school supplies video. I wanted to do like a move-in day vlog for college. And I want to do like a my first day of classes vlog, my first week of classes vlog, and just all that kind of college related stuff because college related stuff is fun stuff. Thank you for watching. Um, I know this was probably pretty boring.
but thank you for watching if you did. Um, feel free to comment or reach out to me, do whatever your heart desires. I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Yeah! Bye, guys.